everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. I'm excited to be here today and share another fun little sneak peek, kind of a snippet of a machine quilting video of a quilt that I recently quilted. So this quilt is adorable. I love this little pig quilt and these pig blocks were so much fun to machine quilt. So today definitely I'm going to be sharing one of the pig blocks with you. Now, I am going to be doing all of my machine quilting here on a Gamel 22 inch machine. This is definitely all hand guided quilting. You will see that I'll use a little bit of ruler work here. I'm using my four in one machine quilting ruler. The thread that I'm using here today is so fine by Superior Threads. That's what I have on the top. And then on my bobbin, I'm also using thread by Superior Threads bottom line. Now we do have the thread, the batting, all these notions available on our website, peaceandquilt.com. The batting that I am using is one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. So this is just a little sneak peek of this quilt. If you do want to see a more in-depth video, if you want to kind of see my whole process of machine quilting this quilt, make sure you do hop over to my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Over on Patreon, I share several videos that go more in-depth and really hopefully inspire you all on your own machine quilting journey. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. So I'll start out here by stitching in the ditch around the outside of my cute little pig. You guys, I love the look of stitch in the ditch, so it's definitely something that you're going to see me do quite often. So as I'm stitching in the ditch, you'll see when I get to my cute little pig's tail, I am going to stop and outline around the tail. It's part of him, so it gets details too. Now because all of my background filler is a swirl and I do have an echo all the way around the outside of my pigs and all of the flowers, I'm going to go in and add my echo right now. So I'm adding an echo that's a quarter of an inch on the outside of my pig. Right here you can see between his legs I actually create kind of a little box. Once I've created that box, then I'll stitch a swirl, a fun swirl in the center of that before traveling back to the outside where I'll again go into that echo stitch. So I'm using my mini four in one machine quilting ruler here. You could use any of my machine quilting rulers to add this echo to the outside, but because I'm also using a ruler foot here on my Gamel machine, I know that from my needle position to the side of my ruler, it's a quarter of an inch. The ruler feet, especially the gamma ones, are really fabulous because you know, okay, it's a quarter of an inch from the outside to my needle position. So I'll continue stitching even around the outside of that little tail, adding a fun echo. Now I will continue. I like to stitch as continuous as possible. So I am going to continue on stitching in the ditch around the outside of that bottom brown section, kind of the dirt section below the pig. Now once I've completed that echo stitching around the outside, I am going to go into a little bit of the background filler around the outside of my pig. I love machine quilting swirls. Swirls are something that I do teach you how to quilt in my book, Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting.
I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful So now that I've quilted a bit of the background and outlined around my pig, let's start quilting on him. I am going to quilt, keeping him soft and curly for some reason, that's what reminds me of pigs. I am going to quilt swirls in that. Now this is more of a curl swirl. As I'm stitching out this curly swirl, I am trying a little bit harder to keep my stitching right on top of my previous stitch line. Now I'm not a perfect machine quilter, I am not a computer. So you'll see that there are times where my lines do cross over and leave a little bit of space between them. I'm okay with that because not only is it a way to hide my imperfections, but it kind of gives a ribbony type look. So alternating directions as I stitch out those fun little curls and continuing to fill in, moving my way around across the pig's body. Now with this one, I will go through and quilt his nose and also his feet last, but you definitely could quilt those as you're going. So at this point I did stop and cut my threads, but now that you know and you have a path of what you are quilting on this, you wouldn't have to go through and cut your threads. You could quilt his nose like I mentioned as you're going. So I will stitch in the ditch between his nose and the body. From that point, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to stitch some fun little, you can call them fingers or bumps or whatever you want them, on his nose. I'm actually going to quilt the same design on his feet. So once I've stitched those fun bumps on his nose, then I'll stitch in the ditch again up to his ears. In each of his ears, I'm going to stitch kind of a fun little teardrop shape or a feather, if that's what you want to call it, just to kind of give him that round kind of floppy pig ear. Once I've stitched each of those, then I'll again travel in the ditch all the way around back down to his feet where I'll complete this cute little piggy by stitching those fun bumps on each of his feet. I hope you are all able to find just a little bit of inspiration from today's machine quilting video. I loved quilting this adorable quilt. If you do want to see the rest of this quilt and more of my machine quilting, take a deeper dive into my process with me. Make sure you do check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Have a great day, everybody. Forever free.